Joining us right now to talk more about the company is the CEO of Inner Workings. He is Eric Belcher. Eric, good to have you here on Street Smart. First of all, talk to me a little bit more about what you guys do. You're not a household name. You're a small company, $375 million uh, market cap. So what exactly do you do? Well, we help corporations source their printed material. We buy it on behalf of uh, a number of Fortune 500 companies, saving them anywhere from 10 to 30 percent on their annual print spend. Now, the printing industry in the U.S. alone is over $100 billion a year in revenue, so there's quite a bit of expenditure going on. It's an indirect category, a category that doesn't get a lot of attention. And we bring data, we bring information to the purchasing decision, which allows us to capitalize on excess capacity and take advantage of the fact that right now, without the data that we have, there's mm -hmm. a big mismatch between where the jobs are being run and where they should be run. So. We buy on behalf of corporations and we advocate that anybody that doesn't claim as their sole core competency the ability to source print, look to outsource that function to us. Eric, what's the competition like in this market? I mean, is it the kind of thing you work with, for example, John Deere, you work with Unilever? Do you have to go to these companies and say, I can save you money, or do they already know and are they picking between a couple of guys who do what you do? No, we're introducing a new concept. We're generally competing against the status quo, which is an incumbent internal procurement team. We recommend they outsource the function to us. And it's changed. It's not all that easy. So even though the economics of our solution are very compelling, it still takes quite a bit of education. There are a lot of people invested in the status quo. We are getting in between long-term relationships, in some cases, centuries old. This is a very old school, old line industry and corporations. So really it's education about using technology in a new way to save mm. save money in this category of indirect spend. Eric, you IPO'd back in 2006, so you're what, almost five years old here as a company. I mean, what's the plans for this company? You just announced a deal, you're looking to go global. Uh, what's, what's the plan? Are you hoping to be acquired ultimately by a company or, or what's the end game here? Well, the end game is to introduce our solution to um, a broader segment of the community uh, than we currently are serving. As you mentioned, we're not a household name yet. We've been a public company for five years. We've been in business for 10 years. Mm -hmm. We have about 200 major corporations under contract. But yet, we're still only working with, we estimate about one half of 1% of just the domestic print spend, about four times that size on uh, a global basis uh, in terms of the size of the market. So the end game for us is to continue to roll out our solution. Now, today's announcement, <clears throat> we believe is the first international global print management contract ever signed in the industry, clearly the first of our, uh, for our company. And so looking forward, we believe companies should look to have one global steward of their brand, one provider around the globe managing their procurement and adhering to the brand standards. And so today's announcement is the first of what we expect will be uh, numerous uh, global print management contracts uh, like the one that was announced this morning. Eric, how key is the web for you guys? Because I'm thinking about the way SAP has switched into the cloud and switched onto the web. Can you do the same thing with your business for your clients? Well, our technology utilizes the web, but to the extent that you're asking, as people use new media and the web to promote their products versus using print, print seems to be holding up quite well in the uh, community. The print spend today isn't meaningfully different than it was 10 years ago, and it isn't going to be meaningfully different than it will be uh, 10 years from now. It's an effective medium uh, to okay. communicate well. And, uh, okay, we got uh, it. So Eric, we have to run. Thank you so much, Eric Belcher. We're back in a moment.